On my last video about doing yourself a special potentiometer, I got a row of critics. Some noted that uh, trimmers, aka preset potentiometers, unlike regular potentiometers, uh, are designed to last just few rotations. And I have to say that most of these critics are correct, uh, and I'm grateful of all the comments I receive on my videos. But what I did was completely wrong. When I design circuits uh, or do stuff, uh, I usually check the specifications uh, and uh, I already used uh, these trimmers and pasta as a potentiometer, uh, like uh, this, as you can see here. And I'm sure these withstand the operations uh, as a potentiometer. It is always possible to make mistakes and certainly here I made one by overlooking the lifespan specification for the preset trimmer I used, which is a different brand than the one I already used in the past. Here Radio Ohm doesn't provide any information about life cycles of these trimmers. And uh, looking at another brand you can see the durability is limited to 200 cycles. However, there are trimmers like these from Pier that are defined as suitable for frequent adjustments and that have a lifespan of up to 100,000 cycles. And I had some memory that trimmers provided with inserting hole for the shaft should be meant for frequent adjustments. Oddly enough, Radio Ohm also has a rotary position sensor and indeed it actually share the very same design and it is declared to withstand for 50,000 cycles. Mm, so I got curious, let's open the streamer to see how they are made inside. As you can see the internal construction is similar and the materials too. I don't see much difference and uh, any weakness under the mechanical point of view. Electrically, the radio ohm trimmer has a little jump in, at the beginning, starting with the roughly 100 ohm, while the PR starts at uh, about 40 ohm, but overall the ohmic response is comparable. Looking at the resistive pad construction, we can see the PR is uh, perhaps uh, a little bit better than the other one. The durability depends uh, by the thickness of this element and the quality of uh, its bending agent, which is hard to tell with this simple comparison. But again, overall they have a very similar appearance. And here for comparison the resistive element of a normal potentiometer of another brand, and you may notice the thickness of the resistive layer. Pretty thin. Okay, that was interesting, but my fault remains because I used the wrong product. I missed it to check uh, if the manufacturer specifically states that that trimmer would stand for frequent adjustments. And, uh, and so I, I used the wrong product for the job, essentially. And this doesn't mean that the Radio Ohm trimmer is bad, because as we've seen, it is well done internally and uh, and I have to say that they test the, the streamers uh, to the stand uh, of for almost uh, 500 cycles so not bad at all. Eventually I rebuilt my special potentiometer from scratch uh, using the right trimmers this time and uh, if you want to watch uh, how to make a special potentiometer follow the link in the description or on screen. For full disclosure, uh, I have to say that this video is not sponsored by these manufacturers. This is just my opinion and my simple crude tests uh, that I hope will find interesting as well. So that's all folks for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.